How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I was just out here with Young Bean making some online content, some uh, puppy content videos, and it reminded me of something I need to talk about to people. It came up the other day, I was talking to a friend, and I put a note on my phone and said, I've got to talk to this about to my followers about this. I know whoever wants to listen, and I believe it's a very important video. Are you prepared for the what if moment? Now, what I mean by the what if moment, regardless of what method you train a dog with, this is not what this video is about. It doesn't matter. I'm not even going to name the methods. Whatever you use, it doesn't matter. What I want, what I want to ask you all is, if it all goes wrong, and you've got your young dog, or any dog, and uh, a dog comes running over, super aggressive, or just comes to meet your dog, whatever the situation, whatever you want to say, and whatever method you're using is not working, and you only rely on certain methods, are you prepared, and do you have the skills as a handler to be able to physically control your dog if they don't listen? It's great to live in a world where we assume and pretend everything's gonna go right. It's all, what do we call it? Um, rainbows and butterflies, and all beautiful. But that's not reality, things go wrong. Dogs get in fights, dogs die, and things can get very serious very quickly. So what I would urge you to do is at least have in your back pocket a method to be able to control your dog by using your lead physically to protect your dog, to protect other dogs and deal with the situation. Because it's not all gonna be what you think it is all the time in public especially. This reminds me of when I used to teach martial arts to people and self-defense uh, pretty much for a living. And I would talk to people and say, there may be elements of self-defense you don't want to learn. Let's use jiu-jitsu as an example, which is grappling on the ground. A lot of females don't want to do it with men because it's a very close contact sort of sport to learn self-defense. And I understand that. But I used to say to my students, you may not like doing that as a sport because it makes you uncomfortable, but the person who potentially is going to attack you in public doesn't care that you don't like it. So you're going to wish that you knew how to deal with that if it ever comes up. And I hope it never does in your life, but you need to know that you have that skill if it ever happens. That reminds me of dog training in so many ways. Too many people live in a world where everything's perfect and this method is the only method and it always works and it can train any dog to do anything. But you can't control other factors. That's what you can't control. What if other factors get involved? Your dog may be good, but do you know how to have your dog and an aggressive dog runs up to you are you confident enough to pull your dog behind you, get that dog away and deal with both situations? Most people aren't and you should be. I'm not gonna tell you how in this video because this video is not about that. This video is about people not being so blinded that they can't see that they should be able to deal with a bad situation coming up. And like I said, you visualize whatever bad situation you wanna talk about. I'm simply saying, can you deal with it? That is what this video is about. And I urge you to please look at learning those skills, how to handle your dog. And I suppose the main one I'm talking about here is if you're using food to train a dog to do everything, that's great and it works and I hope it does for you. But what if the food doesn't work for you one day and you need to physically, are you going to be that committed to your, your, your method that you won't physically pull up on a lead because you need your dog to sit to keep away from a dog, or you won't physically pull your dog back because you don't want to pull a lead. I think that's getting ridiculous to even think that people wouldn't do that. I'm sure, I'd like to think everyone out there would pull their dog back to protect it, obviously. But there might be a time that your dog doesn't listen to you and need it to stay. And you might need to stand on the lead to physically hold it there because it wants to get to a dog so bad. And it may still not listen to you verbally, even with lead or, or food or whatever. But I need you to have the skills to be able to do that, to handle a lead. Lead handling is everything in dog training. You can have all the skill in the world, but if you can't manipulate this dog with a good lead and know how to use the lead to get your dog to do things for you, it's gonna be very challenging when it all goes bad. So remember what I've just said, are you prepared for that what if moment? What if everything goes wrong? And if not, please reach out to someone who can teach you to prepare for that. You say to them, okay, my dog's well trained. I train this way. I'm force free. I use balance, whatever you use. 
but I want to learn how to deal with an aggressive dog running at me to get that dog away. I want to learn to deal with what if my method doesn't work, how do I physically restrain my dog using my lead with good technique. I'm not talking about yanking leads, I'm saying how do I do it with good technique to calm my dog down. That is what I urge you to do. So if not, please get those skills because it's not all going to be how you think. There may be a day it all goes wrong. Hope this video maybe prompted anybody out there that doesn't have those skills to look down that road, learning how to break up a dog fight. We all want to ignore that it may happen sometimes, but you should know how to break up a dog fight. Do you know how to break up a dog fight properly? Properly. If not, again, learn how to do it. Okay, there is methods out there that are way better than the other method. I don't want to digress, I don't want to make the video long, I don't want to talk about that, but I'm just saying to you, if you don't, learn how to do it. I may make a video again, I've made one before, I might make a video in the future of how I think the better way to break up a dogfight is to give you that knowledge. And until then, I'm sure there's videos out there or people that can help you learn how to do this. So remember, prepare for that what if moment. If you like what I do, please hit the subscribe, if not, so be it. Uh, share, like, tell others about the channel, and uh, thank you for watching. From myself and, if you can see him down here, Young Bean, who was part of the video. See you guys, boy.